Really excited, you know, when you get programs like BYU, Houston, and Boise State coming to Statesboro, I think uh, that's an exciting day for our football program. I think the other thing that we did with some of these moves is that we were able to uh, move around our schedule so that we have six home games a year for the next uh, several years through at least 2024, which is important for our fans. How difficult was it to get these games? Oh, it was a challenge. I mean, we had to sit down and, and you know, anytime you start moving games around, obviously most people know Houston was on our schedule already and we had to move them back. When we start moving one game, then somebody else has to move games. At one time, I think 10 different teams were involved in these moves across the country. And, uh, you know, that's a challenging time, but I think it all worked out for everybody and uh, we're excited about it. Boise State, BYU, as far as their cachet, how do you feel like that'll go over with the Georgia Southern folks? Well, hopefully it goes over well. I mean, when you talk about, uh, first of all, you talk about Houston and Boise State are two teams that have been in the top 25 the last two years, and you talk about BYU as a program that's actually won a national championship. I think anytime you can bring those type of programs to your to your stadium, it should be an exciting time for our fans. Is it tough to schedule depending on what you run? I know there's been some talk about we don't want to go back to under center because it's tough to schedule. Well, I think any time you schedule or you're successful or any, what, what you run on offense, your success, all those things play into factors of, uh, you know, trying to schedule football games. One of the unique things about BYU is they are an independent and they, they're, they're challenged to try to get some games. So I think that kind of helped us out a little bit. Uh, but right now in the world of, of college athletics, when people are looking at every dollar and every penny that they spend, I think you're going to see more and more home series starting to appear like this with a lot of the upper tier group of five and a lot of the power five schools with us as well. How far ahead are you scheduled right now? How do you feel? Well, we've got games out almost to 25 and 26 right now, and we're starting to build those schedules. And I think what we're going to start looking at now is in, in a future years, we'll have, you know, our plan of, uh, you know, an FCS school, two home and homes, and then one big money game a year. And now that we have to start looking at our schedule, that's probably what we'll start plugging in now, those money games in the future years. Anything on the horizon with that? Uh, we've got a couple announcements coming down in a couple of days. We're still waiting for a couple of schools to finalize some contracts. I think Eagle Nation will be excited. We're going to go to some pretty unique places, some, some pretty historic and traditional places of college football.